Okay. All right. Go. Okay. All right. So the good old cross media bar. Everybody's favorite. Okay. So this is version. Um, does this show version info? There we go. Okay. Level nine. Sure. This, this is version 2.0. This has the, um, uh, the loading screen option. Um, and it's got a few other changes. Like it patched in, um, trophies, I think, but everything else is pretty much the same to the, uh, the launch version. So let's do it. So I already pre-installed the game and I also did the full, um, the full install. All right. Okay. There we go. All right. This game saves automatically. So one of the weird things, weird and annoying things in this game. So say you, you're, you're hype. You got your copy of Metal Gear Solid. It's 2008. You got your PS3 copy of Metal Gear Solid 4. You run on home. You you slap it in the PS3 open palm. Slap that Blu-ray into there. And then a screen pops up on here saying, Metal Gear Solid 4 requires uh, a mandatory installation on the hard drive of your PlayStation 3. This process takes a while. And then you see a model of Solid Snake just smoking a cigarette off to the side of the screen with a progress bar at the bottom. And I remember that initial install taking almost an hour. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I have I put an SSD in this PS3 that I'm using. So it only took about 10 minutes to do the install for me. Um, so yeah, that, that was certainly a part of the original Metal Gear experience. Okay, so my, my frame rate counter is actually is working properly here. This actually is 30 FPS. Um, so I think this is this is the boss's uh, grave from the end of Metal Gear Solid 3, maybe? But then again, this is solid. This is solid snake. So I'm not sure why he would be here or this is somebody else's grave. I don't know. Yeah. Boss and big boss. Okay. I guess that makes sense that, that you would bury very big boss next to boss. That makes sense. All right. Okay. So before we get started here, I just want to say that like always, um, like I mentioned at the beginning of this, it's been since this game came out that I played it. I remember hardly nothing from my playthrough. So if you have anything spoiler, plot spoilery to put in Discord, use the spoiler tags, the sl slash spoiler with your message or the two vertical lines on the end of your message. So... For, for my benefit and for those who don't want to be spoiled and, and they're seeing this for the first time. Thank you. Okay, so this is one of the one of the options here with the 2.0 patch. You can actually do a full install. So in between the acts of the game, it used to um, pre-install data to the hard drive between like, here's a major section of the game, install. Major section of the game, install. Um, and all that. In this patch, they let you just install the whole thing yourself. It takes up a whole bunch of space, but it is it is totally worth it. So I already did that ahead of time. Um, mission briefing. So this this is actually covered in the game itself. So there isn't any like synopsis of the previous games in this, as far as I'm aware. So we can just go straight into into this. All right, liquid easy. 
players who aren't good at action games that's me but we'll we'll go higher than that players who don't like it too easy naked normal solid normal players who are skilled at action games this is a normal setting for europe and north america big boss hard players who want to test their limits all right we'll do solid normal <laughs> okay all right get settled in get settled in Oh, baby. Yep, this is very Metal Gear. This is this is like a Connect commercial from E3. <laughs> Hey, Sue Cullen. I look and feel better than I did in high school, and that's it. Oh, we can change the channel? All right. Hideo 1. Start results the first week. That'd be cool, actually. It gives me uh, real-time information and, and uh, you know, weather, traffic reports. Um, actually, watching a baseball game as we, uh, as we speak. What drives you? What are your dreams? <sighs> well... No. I'd have to say my dream project. Let your dreams drive you. Oh, a message of hope to today's young people from David Hayter. Mm. I never actually said that. Oh, that's right. The enemies in this game were like, were all models or something. And Kojima had them all like model naked or something in this. My misremembering was that a thing? Like the oct the octopus unit? I'm right. Okay, good, good. I didn't misremember that. All right. I love how the, the, the list of voice actors here kind of spoils who appears in this game. <laughs> like, because I recognize some of these names. Like Phil Lamar. <laughs> like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe say the voice actor's name when the character appears. Has changed. ideologies or ethnicity it's an endless series of proxy battles fought by mercenaries and machines war 
and its consumption of life has become a well-oiled machine. War has changed. ID tag soldiers carry ID tag weapons, use ID tag gear. Nanomachines inside their bodies enhance and regulate their abilities. Genetic control, information control, emotion control, battlefield control. Everything is monitored and kept under control. Changed. I forgot to turn on subtitles. Deterrence has become the age of control. Sorry about that. I'll do that in a bit. Averting catastrophe from weapons of mass destruction. And he who controls the battlefield controls history. War has changed. When the battlefield is under total control, war becomes routine. Hey, Yeah, the, the audio overall is pretty low. Like, I'm looking at the audio levels on my, my mixer, and this is like, tops out at 80%. All right, Middle East, ground zero. Okay. All right. The X button confirms in this. So already a big difference. You change. Okay. On, on. Huh, okay. Um, that all looks fine. Okay. Let's not worry about that. Okay. So, our objective is over there. Okay. Alright, so the control's already very different from 3 and 2 and 1. So R1 in this is melee, it looks like. Um, and that's that's all I have is a stun knife. Okay. And really no uh Oh our our iPod registered. Alright. Can't leave home without it. Amazing. So that that also places this into a very specific time period. Okay, and you you actually have to you have to use the right stick to to use the click wheel on it. Okay. Try going under it. It's autopiloting. <laughs> All right. The game got tired of me spinning around in circles. No, that's that's in the the Xbox port. Is Zoom. Okay. 
All right, so we got some seamless transitions here. Weapon available for use. Ready it by selecting weapons from the menu screen. Okay. Ready it with L1, fire with R1. Triangle for ADS. Okay. Okay. Damage D. Sure. Okay, and there's a range drop off for power. Interesting. Okay. All right. The enemies drop. This is still a sneaking stuff. They do. Okay. Yo, there's physics to it. Nice. I don't remember that at all. All right. You have anything for me? <laughs> I love that. That they don't don't just stop and and spin anymore. Yeah, this game does look great. I think this this holds up well even against today's standards. Like that the textures are a little a little blurry, but besides that, like the animations are great. Nice poly counts. Yeah, and, and this is on console. This isn't on on RC PSX3. And upscaled or anything. Oh, that's right. The robots move. Fish and talk. Uh, yep. The robots have big old thunder, thunder thighs. Gecko. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> go away. Go away, Robo Cow. All right. Go over there, Robo Cow. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shit. Uh.
Oh, you'll you'll see about the the cow thing. The cow thing is explained. Something that weird they would they would not 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 explain. FPS for this. Okay. Yeah, 20 FPS for this part. <laughs> yeah. They shit. <laughs> oh. God, this game's so weird. I love it. This game is just as weird as I remember. So this is this game's gimmick, is the Octo Camo. Boys. Yeah, and this end, if you think this isn't crazy, the crazy just, it's like that. That's the, the graph of crazy over time in this game. <laughs> if I remember correctly, it's been like 15, 16 years. Or what, 2008? 13 years. Cross media bar saves quite a bit faster than than Metal Gear Solid Three saves. Okay. Twenty FPS again. Probably because there's foliage in the scene. Yeah, I have an SSD in this uh, PS3. Yeah, twenty FPS. X. Sure.
test results. Proteome analysis was positive. But the mRNA analysis turned up negative. You don't have COVID, Snake. The wrinkled skin, the hardened arteries. Your early aging symptoms look like classic Werner syndrome. But none of the tests were able to pinpoint the cause. So... Well... Judging by how rapidly the aging has progressed, I'd say... Okay, the... Best. The hands... The hands aren't up to modern standards, but everything else is. Yeah. Those are some chunky hands. <laughs> Yeah, hands are hard. Snake. Let's try another doctor. It won't make any difference. I'm not an ordinary man to begin with. Not to mention Fox die. You're right. But we don't know where Naomi is. Game's making me press buttons during cutscenes, and I don't like it. Ah, uh, Snake! Colonel, good to see you. Well, I'm not a colonel anymore, Snake. I figured the only place I'd see you dressed like that would be at your daughter's wedding. What are you doing these days? I'm working for an organization under the UN Security Council. The analysis and assessment staff of the PMC Oversight and Inspection Committee. Yeah, I remember the resolution being passed a few years ago. Snake, I uh, came across some information in my work. Huh? We found him. In the Middle East. Nope, 30 FPS now. <laughs> I'll explain along the way. We've got to stop him. Now. Before it's too late. Liquid's made his move. We found him. He's preparing to unleash his insurrection. Liquid is lying in wait. In a Middle Eastern war zone. Track him down. All right. Uh, only two eggs today? Solidus must have taken the day off. My my OLED's overcurrent protection kicks in on that screen. So it just flashes the white at me. This is Snake. Do you read me? What's the situation? I'm just inside the city limits. This place is crawling with lizards. Look at this Apple product placement. Uh, AT Corps unmanned bipedal weapons. Officially designated Irving by the U.S. military. They've spread like wildfire among the PMCs. There are more of those things now in service than tanks. 
They've got tough armor plating and are highly agile to boot. Your best bet is to stay out of their sights. Unmanned. Pretty soon they'll have put living, breathing soldiers out of work. Even so, that's an awful lot of gecko for this scenario. Their numbers exceed the war price for that region. It must have something to do with Liquid's arrival on the scene. You really think he's here? You'll have to find the Army's operatives and ask them yourself. Oh, and Snake, I went ahead and used the Mark II to scout out the area before your arrival. You'll find it up ahead. Mark II? It's a remote mobile terminal. Sonny and I built it. The Mark II will provide you with a map of the area as well as any battle situation data. You should find it before you do anything else. Okay, got it. The rendezvous point is marked on your map. I'll be waiting for you there. Alright, Octo Camo. Lies still don't move when pressed up the wall. Imitate the cover and texture of the wall and ground. Fooling naked eye and infrared. Okay. Okay. Can I, can I do it to this cool poster? No. Okay. So there's a stress meter up at the top. And then this this circle around snake. So the part that's raised up a little bit is is showing where an enemy is. Get some items. Ration. Okay. Yeah, that's a really, really cool system. Soldiers over there. Zone Northwest. Okay. All right. So this is this is actually one of necessary combat whenever possible. In this war, neither side is your enemy. There's no point whatsoever in you getting into a fight. Psyche. Got it? So yeah, this is one of those games where if you do want to just play it like a third-person shooter, you can. I'm going to try not to. So it wouldn't let me look around there. Uh, okay, so we got to make it around this corner. All the way to the end of the street. <laughs> this, is, this is quite the animation. I believe this is the dummy thick referenced in the memes. Take that. Okay. 
um, all the time. Uh, please don't shoot! Ooh. Oh, there's a crouch walk. Nice. That actually is very useful. Previous games certainly could have used crouch walk. Okay. Uh, no, it totally does have an alert system. But you can, you can just shoot your way through the enemies. Man, this is, this is pretty dark. Okay, so there's a soldier, like, right there. Yeah, you could you can brute force rather than actually solve puzzles. This, you totally can. Wooding about. Okay. Well, look, I'm I'm so well camouflaged. <laughs> like, of course they couldn't see me. Okay. 
Okay. Whew. Metal Gear. Metal Gear, huh? I had no idea that was a thing. <sighs> Metal Gear. Regain registered. Oh yeah. What the? My imagination. I wish I had. <laughs> Alright, so just on the other side of this wall. We got Introduce Metal Gear Mark II. Metal Gear. That's right. Just like Rex. But this gear's not a weapon. It's a remote mobile terminal designed to provide you with operational support. Where are you? I'm in the Nomad. Where else? I'll be watching you through the Mark II. I was good with gadgets. Hey, I'll be with you in spirit. Anyway, because you had to dress up as a militiaman, I had the Mark II bring you some goodies. Starting with this. Put it on your left eye. Looks like an eye patch. I call it the Solid Eye. It's an all-purpose goggle that displays radar images and other data in 3D. In 3D. You can also switch it over to light amplifier but it's night vision. It's monocular. It can't be 3D. Kojima, please. The rebels are out there. It looks like they've got the government's PMC troops beat. At least in numbers. And this is their own turf. Snake, I know this is a sneaking mission, but you'll need to protect yourself. But it's displaying in 3D. And here's a tranquilizer gun. Oh, 
thoughtful. It predates the implementation of the system. By some miracle, it was never recycled. It's getting tough these days, finding decent guns that aren't controlled. Follow you wherever you go, like this. I'll activate stealth so it doesn't attract any attention. If you need it, just bring up the start button menu. Got it. Snake, the informants who said they saw a liquid here should be a little further up. Head for the rendezvous point. I've placed a mark on the radar in the upper right corner of the solid eye. It's a war zone out there. Stay on your toes. Mark two, twenty two caliber silenced anesthetic rounds. Okay. And it's got a laser sight. Forty five operator laser sight. Okay. Solid eye. Tactical data. Organization blue ally. Red is hostile. Equip it to enable manual control. Okay. Snake, it's kind of a schlep, but I've sent you data on an alternate route. Follow the mark on your radar. I see that. Uh, a schlep? It's across the street. Uh, okay, I guess I'll I'll go there then. Okay, so that's already equipped. That's already equipped. Okay. 41 shots. I don't know how often I'll have to save in this. All progress upon reaching a checkpoint will be saved. Not be saved. Last checkpoint. Okay. I have a feeling this, this will have similar stuff to Metal Gear Solid 2 and, and 3. Where if you, if you die, you just restart from the checkpoint. But... I'll save periodically just in case. You never know with a game like this. So it looks like the solid eye uses up battery. The Mark II is more than just a communications terminal. It's got a lot of other functions as well. Try taking it for a spin. See for yourself what it can do. Uh oh. Stop stop kicking my robot. <laughs> okay. That didn't that didn't work out so well. So this has got the, the same same kind of touchy aiming that um that three did, unfortunately.
Yeah, yeah, the third person, if it has a laser sight, it is so much easier. It's pretty dark in there. Switch the solid eye to night vision mode. Uh. Oh, there we go. NV binocular mode. Okay. All right. Suddenly we splinter cell. Who? Who's that? Don't move. That guy that I I just punched a whole bunch woke up. Instant noodles. Did I? GSR. Okay. All right, so these are locked weapons. So anything that's marked as locked, I can't use yet. Yeah. Okay. Red grenade. So we're getting all these sweet weapons, but. Can't use them just yet. Alright. iPod music. Theme of Terra. From original Metal Gear. Sure. Podcast. Uh... Metal Gear Solid 4, it's a girl podcast. Recorded at Konami HQ in downtown Tokyo, this is your host, Ryan Payton, for the exclusive. <laughs> All right. Very, very immersive.
Let's just employ the Metal Gear Solid 3 strat. That's right. I remember this. I remember this now. Pretty sweet, huh? Oh, hold it. Watch where you're pointing that thing. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. Voila. You're not with the militia, and you're not PMC. I'm a weapons wholesaler. All shapes, all sizes. But there's no need to worry, because all my shit's been laundered. Laundered. <laughs> you see, I take ID guns like the PMCs use and make some mods. Then you can use them without having to match IDs. In other words, I'm a gun launderer. You can call me Drebin. Drebin? Yeah, they use that for all of us. There are more of you. All over the world. Not that I ever met any of them personally. Me, I'm Drebin number 893. You ain't a registered PMC employee, are you? Consider it a welcome gift. Take it. The M4, the official carbine model used by the U.S. Army, developed from the M16 service rifle. This one's a top of the line model, real popular with the big PMC. Precision, not like that government issue shit. It's uh free floating, of course. Relax, that barrel's clean. Is the Hider CQC compatible? The beauty of this sucker is that it's got a lot of customizable parts. Change it up the way you want to meet your everyday needs. Flip up sight, rail system, not bad. Yeah, well, you know, I get a lot of noobs around here. And if you need them, I got a wide selection of aftermarket parts as well. The frame's pretty rigid. No rattle. Go ahead. Give her a squeeze. Hmm. Huh. I can't pull the trigger. Really? That's weird. What's weird? Wait, I got it. I bet you're using an older generation of nano machines. Older generation? Sometimes they don't really jive with the new system. Seriously, who are you? Oh, slow down. <clears throat> oh, yeah. My day job's working at AT Security. I'm in charge of production control. So I get my hands on all the ID chips before they're even registered. Have a sip. Mm -mm. It's a side of AT the public don't see. From the looks of it, you ain't with any state army. 
But you ain't exactly green, neither. You've got last-gen nanomachines. So I'm guessing... Former U.S. Army? <laughs> I don't know what you're here for. But you want to be well-equipped, am I right? So... Can we talk business or what? You won't regret it. What's your take on Emoticon? I don't particularly like the guy. But it looks like we'll need his help with those ID guns. Sonny's been doing a little sleuthing for us. Drebin, a well-known gun launderer in war economy circles. He's a businessman who deals mainly in selling black market firearms to small PMCs and local militia. Somalia, the Balkans, Lebanon, Darfur, Chechnya, Timor, Peru, the Punjab, Kashmir, Colombia. This guy really gets around. How's he pull it off, anyway? You can create a non-ID gun by replacing the ID recognition chip with a counterfeit version. This enables you to bypass the ID recognition process and use the gun. The problem is that there's still a record of the chip being replaced on the system side. Drebin's an employee of AT Security. He must have connections on the inside erasing records for him. You think the Patriots are involved somehow? <gasps> I'm not so sure. If the Patriots were running the system from behind the scenes, then a weasel like Drebin would be a real pain in their collective ass. Can he be trusted? Remember, Drebin's a green collar. He makes his living off the war economy. He doesn't let emotions get in the way of business, and he never gets his own hands dirty. The only thing he trusts is money. I share your concern, but what if we keep him at arm's length? Use him only to get intel and the supplies we need. Keep it strictly business. All right. So, we ready to make a deal or what? Okay, then. Let's talk business. This is a war zone. There's product coming in here by the truckload. And you'll be picking up a lot of guns in the field, I'm sure. Whatever guns you don't need, I'll take and buy them off you. That'll earn you points you can cash in for services. Like what? Service. I'll launder your ID guns. No more locks. And I can also sell you the guns I've got in stock. Let me show you. To ensure you can use non-ID guns, I'm gonna have to suppress the old nanomachines you got in you. Otherwise, they'll interfere with the system. Here, stick yourself with this. It's full of suppressor nanomachines. Yeah, trust me. What's the worst that can happen? It won't hurt. You're scared of needles or something? Your 5G signals are gonna be so good after it. I can hear my PS3 through my earbuds. <laughs> the fan is is ramping up on that thing. Now you can use non-ID guns, no problem. Hey, be nice to our guest. Step outside. That that was a perfectly fine. There you see, no problem. Perfectly fine bullet in there that he ejected. On, when you pick up an ID gun that says lock, you just let me know. You name it, I can launder it. Of course, it'll cost you. The going rate depends on the war price at the time. <clears throat> Man, I gotta give this shit a rest. 
Looks like you're doing pretty well for yourself. You might say that. What with the war economy and all, and the system clamping down on things. System codes are the law now, and control's essentially absolute, paving the way for fat profits, if you're willing to bend the law. The man keeps on growing thanks to the war economy. I sell ID guns to the PMCs and state armies, and naked guns to terrorist groups and paramilitaries. And these ID guns can't be sold on the black market. System's practically a license for us arms dealers to print money. Privatizing the military has made the PMCs big and bloated. And the fatter the PMCs get, the line between civilian and soldier is gonna get real blurry. Sooner or later, the whole damn human race is gonna be green collars. More like, we're all gonna be fighting proxy wars. But hey, this war economy puts the food on my table. You're a green collar too, aren't you? Yeah, it's in your eyes. You've seen a lot of combat. What makes you think you know me? Nothing to be ashamed of. I'm the same way. I grew up here too. I got no interest in the outside world. All right then. If you need me, holla. We specialize in speedy service. Catch my drift. Okay, so that probably wasn't our informant then. It was just... Just driving along the way. <sighs> okay. I know what you're thinking, but Drebin does have a point. The world depends on war, on the war economy. Can you imagine what would happen if war just disappeared overnight? Yeah, I would. Gun. You and Drevin both mentioned something about a war price earlier. What did you mean by that? It's a kind of market price. One that fluctuates according to demand, not only for PMCs and military industry, but for the production, distribution, and energy supply networks that support them. <laughs> yeah, the monkey in leather diaper kind of steals the scene. The are really starting to take notice. As the fighting in any given area becomes increasingly intense and prolonged, the war price goes up. No doubt Drebin's rates are linked to that war price. The longer and bloodier a battle becomes, the higher service prices are gonna get. To put it another way, the quieter things are, the better the bargains. Snake, we'll use the Mark II to deal with Drebin from here on out. He's what you might call a street vendor. The Mark II can act as a kind of delivery boy, connect you with him. I'm adding a Drebin menu item to the Mark II's weapon menu. Whenever you pick up multiple units of the same weapon, any extras will automatically be sold to Drebin. Any ammo that's inside gets added to your cache. In other words, you keep the ammo, and the weapon itself gets traded to Drebin for points. I see. You can then use the points you've earned to unlock ID guns or buy new weapons. Sounds good. We should assume Dremen has other agents collecting guns for him besides you, Snake. You know, freelance green collars who collect weapons in exchange for services? Service. Yes, I'll have to rely on him for now. Okay. Now go meet up with our informants. Rat Patrol. Rat Patrol. All right. M4 Custom. Came down the site. Semi three full. Okay. So it looks like the battery... Just kind of... 
Oh. Sure. Um, so that was the Dreppin shop. Oh man, there's... Okay, if we want the Tanigashima assault rifle matchlock gun with lead ball, this, this is from like the 1600s, I think. Is that that's from? Sure. Uh, listen to gun. That was the the gun that the end used in in three. EBR sniper rifles. So I can can't really petro bomb. Not petrol, but petro. Uh, white phosphorus stun grenade smoke. Playboy. Licensed licensed Playboy. There you go. There, there's no, there's no R next to it though. Not registered. Uh, so custom parts for, like the M4. There's a suppressor for the M4. That seems okay. Let's, let's get a couple suppressors for that thing. Okay. Um, customize. Okay. I don't remember this at all. Okay. Slightly increases stability. Lowers chance of being spotted. Okay, so it's, it's probably not completely silent, but... Uh... Okay. Oh, you can buy stuff from that mini. Okay. Okay. All right, so where are we going? Just north, very north. Yeah. Snake, hurry and get to the rendezvous point with our informants. First, you'll have to get to the other side of that collapsed building. The only way across is straight through. Careful, Snake. The walls could come down any second. Uh. Wait, that didn't that didn't kill like I what the hell? I might have to adjust the sensitivity here in the in the menu, because aiming is a little, a little too difficult here. You okay? All right. Item change, toggle, lock on, auto aim. Don't need that. Uh, okay. Then that's 
probably good for that. Okay. That, this is still not great, but it's better. Okay. I don't know if these are infinite spawns here. I suspect they are. I should probably just go. <sighs> okay. Man, they, they give you all kinds of item drops. So this. Okay, so there's a grip meter in the upper left, but it just doesn't say grip meter anymore. Now this is this is comedy. Love it. The universal language of comedy. Fart jokes. Why would he inspect this? The guy was just shitting in here. What Item acquired drum. Where is he storing this? And roll around the X button. Okay. Drum can. There we go. Yeah, this is next generation. Okay, Snake. Hurry to the rendezvous point. Your radar is marked with which way to go. Let's roll, boys. <laughs> yep, now we video gaming. This is... Oh, can't go there, that's why. Okay. Oh, there's... Okay, we can go up here, though. Yeah, like, yo, know, am I wrong to assume that? Oh, jeez. 
that that was something I could enter. It's a striker. The PMCs have sent reinforcements. Now their defensive line is a lot thicker. It's going to be tougher to break through. That striker will be shooting at you too. Stay on your toes. It might be best to avoid that area altogether if you can. Or I give it some of this. Be careful. Okay. That's probably all I had to do there. Mission accomplished. Uh, uh. Yeah, they're they're technically friendlies at this point. And I'm mainly helping them because the other guys' guns are more expensive. That's my sole motivation. <laughs> So this, this is kind of also what I mean about uh, being able to play this game like a third-person shooter. Because you can't. For the most part. I don't... I don't know where the other ones are up there. Oh, there's one up there. So at least in, in this area, kind of doesn't matter if you're, if you get into alert phase. Return fire. Um, okay. We got a hostile. Are, are you? Hello? I can't. I'm almost dead. Uh, restores life and psyche. Okay. I was hitting the circle button there. 
Okay. Alright. It's all good. Let's roll, boys. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Why... Why can I not... It says I have 600-ish bullets. Why... Why can I no longer fire those bullets? Uh, purchase ammo. L1 and press. Okay. So you can't... Okay. So you can't just do the... The unequip, re-equip thing in this game. Get up, snake. Get- oh, no! Okay. Yeah, I- I can tell that that's- that's the spot where you'd totally be able to... Just get infinite- infinite everything. Okay, so it's on the top floor. Okay, I should probably put that suppressor back on. I thought that the suppressor what was that was screwing up the uh, the reloading. Dude, the, the changing confirmed X on this in this game is really messing me up. Playing all the games where confirm is circle. And then for this one, they change it up. That... Uh... I... This is probably a mine that I can... <laughs> Love this animation. Or it's gonna blow up in my face. Sleep gas, okay. Pops open. Okay.
Nice. Stylish. Uh. Okay, one more floor. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh. All right. Suddenly, sixty FPS. <laughs> We found where the 60 FPS is hiding, right in this corner. Yeah, though, though for a game like this, 60 FPS really doesn't matter as much as it does for, for other stuff. Even if you're playing it in... as a, a third-person shooter. Another mine over there. Yeah. Yeah, like right, right there, right, right, right here, sixty. But over here, nope. Back to thirty. Just. Just cap the frame rate at 30. Just cap it. Inconsistent frame rates are worse than just capping it to a lower one. Bar and lounge. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna keep this stylish camo as long as I can. Huh. I wonder if that was a uh, claymore or a, uh, a sleep gas thing that hit me. From the description of the thing, it sounded like it shouldn't, uh... Okay. In here? Cloth tile camo. Alright, register... Register pattern, there we go. Perfect. Beautiful. Uh... Uh huh. I think that that probably goes with everything. All right, we fashion souls now. If I remember correctly, this is the long cutscene. <laughs> it has been a while, though. Drop your weapon! Drop your weapon! All right. Here. Easy now. You can't even zoom in the camera in this one anymore. Don't move. That was only in two. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. Careful. I'm no rookie. I'm a ten year vet. Oh! 
How the hell did you ever survive ten years? Don't move! CQC. Real big boss, huh? Lower your weapon! Slowly now. I wouldn't try anything funny if I were you. Fox. Snake? Snake. Meryl. 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 Is that you? What happened to your face? Huh. Accelerated aging. They don't know the cause. Oh my god. The bullet earring. You're my informant at the U.S. military. And you must be the inspector sent by the U.N. Akiba! Uh, uh, Commander! Uh, 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 sorry. This is Rat Patrol Team Zero One. We're with the CID, one of the bodies investigating PMC activity. First hounds, now rats. Here, you can have this back. What is your problem? You okay? Stomach pains? Diarrhea? It's been four days since Liquid arrived in the area. And since then, this woman's been with him. She doesn't look like a combatant. Probably some kind of advisor. Maybe a scientist. Snake these glasses. So one unit. Why? Something wrong with that? Here, I'll introduce you to the team. That's Ed, our radio man and sniper. The sleeping giant is Jonathan. <laughs> Don't stand behind him. He hates it when people go around his back. And finally... Johnny. Everybody just calls him Akiba. Commander, I've finished installing the sensors. <sighs> okay, Akiba. Anyway. You're all grown up. Maybe it's because someone taught me well. A certain legendary hero who suddenly disappeared. Uh, you quit the unit. Me? Huh. I never gave up on you. Or on Foxhound. Back then, I just wanted you to accept me. 
I wanted you to turn around and see who I was. But I've put the past behind. I'm done playing little love games. So, what are you here for? Threat assessment. The PMCs. Really? Because I heard a rumor there's an assassin out there targeting their leader. Well, that's some rumor. I'm only here because the UN wants me to assess the impact and effects of PMCs on their refugee protection efforts. That's all? More than enough for a retired vet like me. I know he's plotting an insurrection. But as long as AT Security's system is in place, there's no way he'll succeed. How can you be so sure? They've implemented a system that monitors in real time every single soldier engaged in combat action, whether he's State Army or PMC. Each individual soldier has been fully ID tagged with nanomachines injected into their bodies for that purpose. The nanomachines keep track of the soldiers and their real time personal data 24 hours a day. They monitor each man's position, movement speed, reserve ammo, firing accuracy, wounds, rations, water intake and supply, sweat secreted, heart rate, blood pressure and sugar levels, oxygen. All the data gathered on body condition, on sensory organ data showing pain and fear, data on every internal response within the body. All of it is collected by an AI at the system's core. This data is monitored at HQ to enable command to make quicker, more precise, more rational decisions. It also enables crisis management for each individual soldier. It's being used by the US military, by state armies and allied countries, by PMCs. Even police agencies are starting to adopt it. Unless they agree to implement the system, PMCs aren't permitted to send troops anywhere. You've got these system nanomachines in you, too. Of course. Our unit plays by the rules, same as everybody else. It was creepy at first, knowing you're being watched 24-7, but I've gotten used to it. It gives us a lot of advantages in the field, too. We get a clearer picture of what's going on around us, so there's less confusion during missions. And our nanomachines communicate with each other, making teamwork a lot smoother. And that's not all the system does for us. It's also a security guarantee against the PMCs. Security guarantee? That's right. The PMCs are combat groups without states or ideologies. They're not fighting out of nationalism or for a cause. They don't care why the war is being fought. They're just bodies fighting on someone else's behalf. They're mercenaries, a commodity. So it's easy to imagine them betraying their clients by joining the enemy or refusing to fight or committing humanitarian atrocities. To keep these things in check, they ensured that no one can use firearms or military vehicles without the proper system ID. It's true for every piece of equipment out there. So even if the PMCs tried to mount a terrorist attack or coup d'etat, their weapons and equipment would automatically be locked out. They wouldn't be able to move, attack, or engage in combat of any kind. And there's more. All the data on their position, personnel, and combat strength is leaked to us by the nanomachines. Even if they manage to circumvent the system by getting the nanomachines out of each soldier's body, they'd be losing their IDs in the process, so they couldn't use their weapons. And the Patriots are behind this. La le lu le lo. What are you talking about? Never mind. So this system is foolproof, huh? Completely. They call it SOP. Sons of the Patriots. The AI that controls it is a tightly guarded secret, both at Arms Tech Security, where it was developed, and at the Pentagon. There's no way a third party could get control of it. I just met a guy who said he can launder ID guns. The system does have holes. There can't be more than a few hundred of those gun launderers. It's just a grassroots movement. It's not like they can affect the entire PMC war machine. Anyway. Liquid would have had to register as a PMC in the system to assemble an army that massive. 
His PMCs might even exceed the U.S. military in terms of numbers, but as long as they're registered, their soldiers' activities are constantly being monitored. So long as the U.S. responds immediately when Liquid makes his move, we can take them down by force. By force, huh? When Arsoc heard about Liquid's plans, they sent us to sniff around the PMCs. Even with this SOP keeping an eye on things, there are always trouble spots to deal with in the field. Disorderly conduct, disobeying orders, contract violations. We act as backup for the system by monitoring the soldiers. PMC inspections are always carried out on the battlefield. That's why we're authorized to carry and use weapons. We've lost five inspection teams in the past few months alone. They were all undercover, inside Liquid's PMCs. Then, if you got caught... We'd be exterminated like rats. But we're smarter than that. We've been mingling with the PMCs. And after three months of searching God knows how many battlefields, we finally tracked him down. Wikipedia dialogue. Going strong. We reported that we'd found liquid. Our superiors ordered us to provide the UN investigators with intel. <laughs> but I didn't know it'd be you. Didn't the Colonel tell you he was sending me? Colonel? Don't tell me it's Campbell! Yeah. He put you up to this? You didn't know. Uh, you've got to be kidding! You expect me to work with my uncle? Meryl! This is bullshit! He's not my father. Little violation of the need to know role. Then, why are you still calling him uncle? You're still calling him Colonel. He's your father. As far as I'm concerned, we're still uncle and niece. I will never forgive that womanizing piece of shit. Meryl. Uh. He, uh, remarried. Really? His new wife's about my age. I hear she's even got a kid. It's as if he's given up on making up with his own daughter. Men. Selfish, egotistical pigs. Commander. What is it? There's 20 of them, and they're not from that PMC praying mantis either. It's the fraud. <gasps> Troops. Oh, damn. Oh, crap. This is not good. Oh. Oh. Uh, were you being followed? No. Akiba! Your farting gave us away. I've seen the reflection off my scope lens. Or maybe it was that tantrum, temper wait, 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 tantrum wait, 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 she just threw. Hang on. You guys think it was my fault? Oh, 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 no. Oh, it wasn't my fault, I swear. It wasn't my fault. Oh, man. Oh, look, I... What? Dumbass. We're moving out. Meryl, where's Liquid? At a camp up ahead. I'll fill you in later, if we're still alive. Look at that mid-2000s MacBook. Follow me.
Just we're shooting our way out. Fine by me. Eye contact. These guys are with Liquid's private army. Shoot first, think later. We'll use the stairs and get out through the back door on the first floor. We'll change the route as necessary. I'm on point. Stay close. Got it? Got, Got it. it. Akiba, breathe deep. Got it. We've got a real live legendary hero with us. Try not to choke. <laughs> Move! Okay. Oh, nice. Great. All right. It's like, do not need a suppressor on this thing. Whoop. Great. <sighs> All right. Things are on sale, apparently. Uh, 13K. Sleeping gas. New Playboys. Those. None of these are actually new. Sure. Available 20% off every Wednesday and Sunday? Okay, it is Wednesday now. Since that cutscene. So, <laughs> maybe that's... Huh. I, I, uh... What the hell you doing? What? Alright, P90. Okay. So they... They self-destruct? Sure. Uh... Yep. P90s, but I don't think I can use them yet. They gotta be unlocked. Yeah, so you can't you can't pick up the bodies and well this one this one you, okay sure the ferreter probably stay stay with Foxhound, but they'll be fine. Ah, 
I'm considering turning on auto aim here. Okay. Ed's taking a beating. Rendezvous with Merrill's team. Sounds like they're still they're still back here. Hello there. I really don't like this reload mechanic. iPod music. Okay. Lots of driven points out of this, at least. More rations would be nice, though. And actually, does Drebin sell? Thought there was a way to buy buy ammo. Uh there we go. Okay, it was uh five fifty six. That is that's a lot of points just for ammo. Okay. Oh, in that menu? Okay, I'm gonna have to switch to a single shot here. To conserve ammo. Whoa. 
I love it. Get down with now. <laughs> I love it. This game could really use um, gyro aim. Like, totally, totally doable. Oh. Take what? Take what? Okay, I'll take that. Because it's like the PS3 controller is just not quite find enough control snake akiba's been knocked out ah! okay i'm sure he'll be fine Yep. Uh, wait it out, I guess. Our one. Okay. All right, let's move team. Oh, let's not. Where's the other guns? What the hell? Regain registered. All right, team. Any day now. I think that's ammo for me. Well, I guess not. There we go. Finally moving. Can we get toilet camo? Nope. Okay. Wait a second. Did he actually shit his pants? Ah. 
serious, Miyajima. What the hell? It appears he did. All these toilets right here. He was so close. All right, stun grenade. Hopefully there's rations in here. White phosphorus. Okay. Noodles. Hey, Ed. Can't go over there. Okay. Hey, Gundam. Athletic. Grenade. More items in this room. Oh, here's here's where the 60 FPS is. The whole game could have been this. But nope. Alright. Briefly had some gameplay there. So I thought she said they have nano machines and they could communicate telepathically, but they're still doing a whole lot of a lot of that. Uh oh.
The nanomachine network inside each unit member's body lets us share each other's senses. See? I... They can see what I see. And it helps control pain. Then why are they doing part of the system hand signals? With SOP, my team can literally operate as one. Well, except for a certain someone who's not much of a team player. When Johnny shits himself, we all shit ourselves. Is your age of heroes finally over? Hmm. I'm no hero. Never was. Never will be. You haven't changed at all, Snake. But... Your body... Are you gonna be all right? This getup doubles as a muscle suit. I can still get around. Liquid's camp is up ahead. I'll mark it on your map. Thanks. Yeah, Snake got his nano machines suppressed earlier in the game by a man who kept a a monkey in a leather thong Akiba. as a pet. Don't worry about it. One man's blunder can compromise the whole team. I'm sorry, Commander. Uh. Be careful, Snake. There she goes, the hand signals again. <sighs> Alright. So we're not rolling with Rat Patrol anymore. On our own again. Otacon, I know where Liquid is. Yeah. I'm confirming the location. It's to the north of where you are. Meryl's really changed, hasn't she, Snake? She's a lot more self-assured. <laughs> I wonder how much of that has to do with the system. The senses you used to develop through extended training and experience can now be obtained without even working for them. Seems once you're under the system's control, you don't even need experience at all. It even beats that VR training that was all the rage a few years back. Yeah. The growing need for PMCs has led to the creation of a more reliable, cost-effective supply of elite soldiers. It's also made the child soldier phenomenon more problematic than ever. Can the nanomachines do anything to counteract post-traumatic stress disorder? Good question. They might provide a degree of psychological stability. You think so? That geek kid, Akiba, he was really starting to lose it. And technologically, the system should be able to optimize each soldier's personality traits. And that big guy... He didn't seem to be feeling any pain at all. Augmenting the soldier's existing experience and psychological fortitude. But a soldier's gotta have more than that. The times have changed, Snake. Just like Meryl. <sighs> Snake, hurry to the PMC camp. Based on what Meryl told us, Liquid should be there. All right. Okay, time to head for the surface. Man, I really need rations. Uh, okay, so that's up to the surface. That's where we came in from. Yeah, this this game assumes um that the save Meryl choice was made in Metal Gear Solid 1 rather than the uh let Meryl die option in which case it was Otacon that you escaped the base with not Meryl okay where are we going Okay, so that's kind of the start of the game is where that was. Okay. Oh, you regen health like that? 
That, that was kind of how it worked in three, though, right? Also, my TTS calls that Pitch. <laughs> if you have good Pitch, your health respawn regenerates. Okay. Barrel time, boys. Let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> nice tank, losers. All right. I got this. Oh, okay. It's like, we can't rely on that. All right, tank, let's go. All right. Any other corpses I can loot for rations? Here's how we're getting our rations, I guess. Uh-huh. All right, tank. Keep it moving, buddy. All right, don't mind me. Petra bomb. Okay. Camo. Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. We'll just uh, hang out here for a minute. Get my old health back here. <sighs> All right, we're fine. We'll just we'll get out our iPod and listen to a podcast. Metal Gear Solid Four Integral Podcast. Welcome to the first ever Metal Gear Solid Four Integral Podcast. Number one, it's going to be included in MGS Four. Okay. As you know, this this isn't. Making our stress go down. Or, as you know, uh, stress is still going up. Okay, now it's going down. Video gaming. All right. Get out there, boys.
Get out there, boys. Go get them. You got this. Oh. Evasion. No, he just, he has a nervous breakdown. Oh man, look at that physics. Okay. Yep, perfect. They're not dropping rations anymore. Yay. Well done. You guys totally did it. It was all you. Well, I think it was the... It's the whole not getting shot at thing. Is probably what's making stress go down. <laughs> Less than the music. Um... Okay. The item's up here. That would be a pretty good stress lever. I'm not sure if uh, those rooster sounds in the background are actual roosters or more weird robots. Because it's already established that, that the giant walking robots moo like cows. So that thing, that's the thing that wakes me up every single morning at 8 o'clock on the dot. Construction company fires up that thing and it shakes my whole bed. Oh, jeez. Uh... Uh... It's Dr. Octopus. Thank you. 
Only Kojima knows. Is that? So if I remember correctly, those are all all suits, combat exoskeleton suits, and inside them are all pretty ladies that Hideo Kojima used actual models for and had them like pose nude before the game came out to promote the game. And I remember it being like semi-controversial, like Hideo Kojima, why did all the bosses in this game pose nude for you? And the answer was, because I'm Hideo Kojima, is why I asked. Okay. And these are all Pokemon. Okay. Good thing they didn't see me in my not conspicuous camouflage. Look at all those free guns. Oh man. All right. Let's hop to it. Get those guns, Snake. All right. We got bodies to loot here. Yeah. Go northwest. Okay. There's an RPG over here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright. Gonna be rations for days from these guys. Or five is as many as you can have. Wish there were a slightly more efficient way to do this. Rations are going to come in handy. Northwest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I lost a bunch of health for some reason. That actually goes up pretty quick if you have good stamina. Okay, northwest. I don't have a particularly important class tomorrow morning, so I'll I'll go longer than than usual tonight. Probably good enough. Uh, okay. I doubt a suppressor is going to be much use this close range, but.
Well, I can't say Octo Camo into one of those guys' uniforms. That seems like a much more useful camo. Actually, I remember, I remember this area too. There is a cutscene just over there. Uh, okay, I think it's gonna be worth it to God, that's so expensive. <laughs> Shit. All right, never mind. Just realized I haven't used the solid eye in a while. Yeah, like, given the option between stealth and just, just shoot them, I'll shoot them. Not under attack, we're fine. No problem. Oh, that's right, we have that thing. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's that's usually the fastest thing to do is just run up, one shot, run away. Which is also often how it works IRL, too, from what I've come to understand watching spy documentaries. <laughs> That man has a magnificent mullet. Liquid Ocelot. All right, so he's no longer, no longer just Ocelot. Now he's Liquid Ocelot. So he's fully possessed now. Probably, maybe. Well, that's kind of what happened. I knew it. Snake, you're here to kill Liquid, aren't you? That's the mission. Are you going to stop me? My mission is to inspect the PMCs. I'm not in a position to take action. All I can do is stand by and watch. I can't help you, understand? I'm a peacekeeper, here to keep order. Understood. Like the assassination of uh, Kim Jong Il's uh, brother or uncle or whatever it is, in uh, I think Indonesia, that's that's pretty much what happened. They posed as a reality TV producer and had some random person pull a prank on him, which was to throw a bunch of toxic chemical on their face or something. Oh, man. What? 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 Oh, suddenly frame rate. course it's a metal gear game someone has to piss himself oh man oh man <laughs> commander never trust a fart johnny you're always playing with fire I, th I think it's been one big shit so far. It's it's gone from a skid mark to a skid burnout. Yep, that guy too. Just can't even wash that out. It's been 
been too long. Liquid. Rejoice! We're not copies of our father, after all. We are free of the shackles of fate. Snake. Brother. We are free. He's, he's talking more like Hulk Hogan in this game than in previous ones. Watch, Snake. Watch as I surpass my own origin. Naomi. Snake, if you won't be a prisoner to fate, then go. Fulfill your destiny. Uh. Sure. Big booty cow robots. Snake! Hey, hey, are you all right? Grab on. All right. Perfect. Liquid sun, huh? Okay. That was chapter one. Which means more cutscenes. Eighty-four, 
Mm. That's Olga. Olga Glukovic from Metal Gear Solid 2. And she looks an awful lot like her. Snake, too? Okay. Uh, uh, hey, not for me, Sonny. Mm. Uh, shh. Uh. How long was I out? A whole day. Uh, someone saved my life. Yeah. Could have been Meryl and her boys. Don't worry. They're doing fine. Liquid got away. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> My body just seized up all of a sudden. This is normal. It's not my joints or muscles. It looked like the PMC soldiers all went haywire en masse, too. I thought it might be a form of ADS, but I didn't detect any aberrations in the EM field. You were lucky. Some of those guys' hearts simply stopped. She was there. Naomi was at Liquid side. Otacon, did you see her? No, but you're right. Naomi was there. I found traces of her DNA in that syringe you were holding. So it was Naomi. Why? Here, let me show you something. Right after it all happened, I got a video mail from Naomi. It was sent to my old address. Uh, um, here you go. Uh, thanks, Sonny. They're delicious. Eat that cigarette, too. Finish your plate, Snake. Oh shit. Like I know how to cook. Hey, check this out. The data's been quarantined, no viruses. The voice print matches Naomi's, and I'm fairly confident the video isn't digitally synthesized either. Snake, I'll make this quick. Well, she owes us, that's why. I'm in South America. I've been captured and forced to do research. It's Liquid. Liquid's goal is to seize control of SOP. 
the sons of the Patriot system that controls the soldiers. To do that, he needs to analyze the nanomachine structure and find out how they communicate with one another. The nanomachines currently in use by militaries and PMCs are third generation. But their design is derived from that of the first generation. And the basic technology is still the same. First generation? I was the one who created the first generation. A nanomachine colony, part of which was Fox Die. Nine years ago, at Shadow Moses, I injected it into your body, Snake. The technology used in Fox Die was incorporated, inherited really, by SOP. That's why Liquid has me helping him hijack the system, because I know how Fox Die works. <laughs> Quits found a loophole he can use to get into the system. Preparations for his insurrection are nearly complete. There's no time to waste. Snake, hurry! Naomi sent her location data in a separate file. that it's a type of encrypted data sunny decoded it for us remember now this is data from the soliton radar you used at shadow moses i'm guessing naomi wants us to know the message truly is from her sending the map data in soliton radar format pretty clever and Mei Ling's helping us out from Hawaii. The data she sent was 4D sound data. I, I don't know how Soliton radar works, but all I had to do was change the audio data into video data. It was easy. This Naomi lady seems pretty cool. <laughs> Campbell. Snake, as you'll recall, following the Shadow Moses incident nine years ago, Naomi was detained by the authorities. But someone arranged for her escape. Yeah, I hear they added that to my rap sheet, too. I suspect it was actually liquid. He must have taken her prisoner himself and forced her to do research at his facility in South America. Chances are, the location Naomi gave us is the site of Liquid's main base. But there's no actual proof. There's an ongoing skirmish between a new regime put into power by PMCs and a rebel army formed by remnants of the old one. The Rebels have hired a small-scale local PMC of their own to stir things up. It's the quintessential example of a war economy market. The new regime is still in shambles, so it's really Pierre Ramamont, one of the PMCs under Outer Heaven control, that's calling the shots. You might say it's a perfect place for Liquid to make his haven. Or it could be a trap. True, but even so, the payoff would greatly aid our efforts. I had Sunny trace the origin of Naomi's mail. The address is fake, but Sunny was able to track the message back through its proxies based on access date timestamps and data transfer volumes. Apparently, the message originated from a server in South America. I wouldn't exactly call it 100% credible, though. Colonel. Where's Meryl? Well, I know she left the Middle East in pursuit of Liquid. I'm sure Arsak is on to us by now. We can't chase that line too far. Huh. Which leaves Naomi as our only lead. I've secured you landing clearance at El Dorado International Airport. You'll be acting as a UN inspector. South America. That's about 20 hours from here. 
Then what's the plan? I'll arrange for them to get you a 4x4. The location Naomi gave us, the PMC's base, is in a mountainous region surrounded by forests. Use the 4x4 to get as close as possible to the PMC security perimeter. From there on, Snake, it'll be a solo sneaking mission. Right. Hmm. Rebels are still pitched in battle against the PMCs. The commotion should help you slip into the facility unnoticed. 20 hours until we land. Got it. I'll have a look at the documents. Maybe I'll even have a smoke while I still can. So I think the, the game installs the data in the background for the next chapter, like during those. I think that's why they made them so long. Because that was, that was like 10 minutes. I believe that's why, that's why they did those. Yeah, I figured there'd be stuff that you could find with the little the little robot during those, but Colonel, how deeply are they involved in all of this? The Patriots, you mean. The data we got from Arsenal Gear was a load of crap. Twelve founders who have all been dead for a hundred years. Give me a break. We know they exist today. If the purpose of this battlefield control system is to control IDs, it fits in with their plans perfectly. Seizing control of the world's ID systems and then using them to manipulate the economy and information flow. For the Patriots, that's the ultimate prize. You might say the Patriots are the embodiment of the war economy. Everything that Solidus feared five years ago, it's all come to pass. The Patriots are trying to protect their power, their own interests, by controlling the digital flow of information. Now, with the media and global opinion under complete control, not even the UN can stand up to them. Then Liquid's insurrection is against them. Exactly. It would seem as though Liquid has taken up Big Boss's cause. An age of persistent universal warfare. A world where mercenaries are free from domination. In a sense, the outer heaven Big Boss envisioned is already a living reality. You mean the PMCs and their war business. Right now, Liquid is a slave to the Patriots, forced to fight their proxy wars for them. You must be dying to break free of their spell. Why? The surface, a new Cold War is brewing between Liquid and the Patriots over who will survive. Is this really necessary? The world has no future. Until we stop Liquid and destroy the system, we'll never be free. Snake. What we call peace is an equilibrium kept in check by the war economy. Destroying the system means wiping out the information society, the end of modern civilization. Like it or not, we may have no choice but to protract the system. Snake, here's what we know about the current battle. Rebel guerrilla units are advancing on the base of the government PMC troops. That base appears to be Liquid safe house. According to Naomi's data, she's being held prisoner inside the compound. That's where she is. Assuming the data is correct. And one more thing. What now? The government PMC troops have been operating at high altitudes. We have reports that it's starting to upset the balance of the nano machine control system. Meaning? Meaning the local 
low blood oxygen content seems to have an effect on their nanomachines, giving them a slight edge in battle. Be careful. Steer clear of altitude sickness. Got it. Oh, hey. It's Doc Ock again. Vamp. Vamp. What? 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 I don't remember this at all. Guerrillas will be coming to storm the safe house. He must be among their numbers. Sooner or later he will come. Don't let down your guard. was vamp i'm sure of it i'll never forget that face those were pmc soldiers with him is he involved in liquid's plan we watched him die in manhattan damn it he won't leave us alone snake could vamp be immortal not a chance this is the real world not some fantasy game i swear the next time he shows up not now otacon Right. I know. Snake, according to satellite imagery procured by Mei Ling, the facility where Naomi's being held is to the north, along a mountain road. I'm sending the location to your map. Mei Ling? What's she up to these days? Taking command of the Missouri, apparently. The Missouri? That's a World War II battleship. The museum contract in Hawaii expired some time ago. I hear it's now being used as a virtual training vessel. No kidding. Not for actual combat training, of course, but rather to get sailors used to seamanship on an analog vessel. Or so I hear. After the mess at Shadow Moses, Mei Ling kind of got put out to pasture. Hmm. Even so, making captain at her age, that's pretty impressive. Rumor has it she caught the eye of some lecherous old admiral who got her promoted. She always did have a thing for older men. Hmm. 
Maybe it's too early to retire after all. Thinking of taking a little training on an analog vessel, Snake? Huh. No. At this point, I've got no need for any more training. Fair enough. Listen, Snake. When you get there, remember, the conflict between the PMCs and the Rebels has nothing to do with your mission. There's no reason for you to get involved or take sides. That said, creating some sort of impact on the battlefield could produce better conditions for sneaking. The Rebels are targeting the facility being used by the PMCs as a base. This is more or less the same spot where Naomi's being held. If you aid the Rebels, they might get rid of some of the PMCs and help carve a path for you to sneak in. That freak I just saw, with the tentacles, was it using the same octo-camo system as my suit? Yeah. I thought that technology was of your own design. Um, actually, I kind of based it on some design Sunny snagged off oh, the net. You found it on and GitHub. The data came from... DARPA. <laughs> so in other words, we're on equal ground technologically. Sorry, I guess I should have told you. And by the looks of things, they know I'm coming too. Yeah, it could be a trap. Stay sharp. All right. So 20 the research lab where Naomi's being held. It's to the north. 20 minutes of cutscenes. Uh okay. So I got to get over there. Stand up. Barrel time. Move along. Yeah, it's understandable, though. I probably could have helped out those rebels over there. Okay, petrol bomb I don't particularly need. What? Something ah! This is HQ. 
Get me a barrel. Nothing to see here. It's just a barrel. There's some more rebels over there. Understood. The state of alert has been lifted. Resume positions. <laughs> really hard to tell what I can climb up and what I can't. Put a drum here. What? Oh, come on. This. <sighs> this. This CQC is so worthless. All right. get up here now. <sighs> uh. I love how the frame rate very briefly gets better. Okay, now it's up to 60. Snake, why can you not just just climb up that? Bro. Okay, that I can climb. Yep, defeated by a shoulder height ledge that I can climb up. And I am not... <laughs> I am not in shape. Like, he can do this, but he can't climb up a shoulder height ledge. Snake. There's someone I'd like you to meet. A member of the mission staff. A psychological counselor. Psychological counselor? A lot of soldiers can't handle the stress of battle, 
end up panicking. She'll be useful in helping you understand the mindset of both the PMC and rebel soldiers. She? Rosemary. Rose. Do you remember what tomorrow is? Nice to meet you, Snake. This is Rosemary. She used to work as a data analyst at the Pentagon, but moved to combat support during the Big Shell incident. So she is real? Yeah. She was in charge of Jack's files, wasn't she? After that, she studied psychology. And now she's a counselor with CSP, the Combat Stress Platoon. Yeah, I hear psychological counseling's the hot field these days. Increased combat efficiency and productivity, all without ever picking up a gun. I'll be acting as your personal counselor on this mission. Since the passing of the new millennium, one of the most important issues facing today's military is the mental care of its soldiers. I can also provide advice on soldier psychology from a threat assessment perspective. Contact me anytime. I'll be standing by here at home with Roy, but I'm on a different circuit. The frequency is 147.79. Her advice will have a positive effect on your psych gauge. Survival on the battlefield depends on your psychological well-being. Lose your cool and your body stops doing what you tell it to. Even a veteran soldier like you. I know. Mind, body, technique. Some things haven't changed with time. When your psych is running low, ask her for advice. It'll help keep you in peak condition and focused on the mission. By the way, Colonel, isn't that your house? Well, yes. Then the woman you married, the one that Merrill was talking about. Is Rosemary, yes. Didn't I tell you before? News to me. What about Jack? Jack. Jack, from Foxhound. Codename Ryden. I seem to remember him being engaged to Rose. Oh. We lost all trace of him. Jack's gone. I used to work with the guy. He saved Sonny from the Patriots. He disappeared soon after that. What about you? Hmm. Jack disappeared and you just moved in on Rose? I was consoling her over her loss. And one thing just led to another. She's young enough to be your daughter. Yeah. Lucky me, huh? <laughs> Now I see why Meryl was so disgusted. Meryl said something about me. Yeah, I believe her words were, I'll never forgive that womanizing piece of shit. I see. Colonel, you knew she was our informant in the Middle East, didn't you? Was it you who put her up to it? Yes. I used my connections in the army to get Meryl the job. You wanted your daughter someplace where you could keep an eye on her. Look. Everybody involved in the incident at Shadow Moses either lost their job and status, or in the case of Merrill and Mei Ling, got brushed aside. Merrill wanted to make a comeback, a difference. We can't all be as strong as you, Snake. Some of us can't bear living like pariahs. Huh. Since Shadow Moses, I've been branded a criminal. I think of it as my own small way of making it up to my daughter. My own flesh and blood. In any case... Call Rosemary if you ever need advice. That whole conversation could have just been that. Oh, okay. Alright, they're marked as blue. There are buddies. What happened? What? Who? Huh? Hey. It's Q. Do you read? Huh? This is HQ. You okay? We're being attacked. Enemy position unknown. Going into high alert. <laughs> We're under attack. Acknowledge. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. Alright. 
Don't mind me, gorillas. Just looting some bodies here. Probably don't need suppressor anymore. Clear, yep. Understood. <laughs> the state of alert has been lifted. Resume positions. Yep, everything's fine. All clear. Well, it turns out the suppressor not really needed. What? <laughs> uh, 2008 physics. an ambush ahead. Government and PMC troops. You could be shot from anywhere. Watch your surroundings. Look to the distance. Is this... Jack? Jack is dead. Snake. I'm at your side. Wait. Okay, those are allies. That's where you were. Oh, you careful. Again. Back me up. I'm pretty sure it wasn't me who got those kills there. My bad. Not me. Go, go, go. 
Yeah, this is like Call of Duty levels of of guns. M60. Getting a lot of use out of this M4, though. Yeah, like, like I, I said, I said a few times during this playthrough, you could just straight up play this as a third person shooter. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Which is why I tend to like this one a lot more than the others. Stealth is really optional for most of the game. You don't know which way to go? Check your radar. It'll tell you where to go. Alright. I was I was going towards what the radar showed. I just had a lot of people in the way that needed bullets in them. You know those nano machines I injected you with back in the Middle East? They let me track your location. <laughs> Bamboozled. <laughs> Figures, the B and B's are here. Things are about to get hairy. B and B's. Bed and breakfast. Their beauty and the beast. Together they're called the B and B Corps. They're a squad of enhanced female soldiers, belong to the PMCs. Anytime there's a mess that needs cleaning up, they're on the scene leading the elites. That's a female. Probably freelancers hired by the PMCs. They're run out of a separate parent organization. Guess it's time for good old Drevin to let you in on a few things. Ever since you showed up in the Middle East, the B&B Corps has got orders to kill. Their number one priority is to eliminate some guy on sight. A guy named, uh, Solid Snake. But from where I'm sitting, Old Snake seems a little more appropriate. Dang. How old, huh? Cheer up. That's the bad news. Word on the street says that beneath those ugly ass suits, 
the B and B's are real babes. Drop dead gorgeous. They also say each one of them's been traumatized by war. Badly. They weren't even soldiers to begin with, you know. More like victims of war. They suffered shell shock on the battlefield. Post-traumatic. It damaged their minds pretty much beyond repair. So the only way they could cope with the reality of battle was to become war machines themselves. The remnants of their human side are buried deep within. The beast, that's what you see on the outside. War transforms a snake into beasts. Transforms us. But deep within that shell, something human survives. A fragile, scarred heart. Without a shell to protect it, it's like the yolk of an egg. Word going round is their natural flesh and blood bodies can't survive in the open for more than a few minutes. And they've been convinced that by killing snakes, their minds will be cleansed. They think it's gonna free them from all the pain, and all the fury, and all the sorrow. Which makes these babes pretty much obsessed with killing you. Pain, fury, sorrow. Four B&Bs have been identified so far. Sound familiar? The one you just saw was Raging Raven. There's also Laughing Octopus, Master of Mimicry, and Crying Wolf. She runs on four legs. And finally, the mistress of mind control, Screaming Mantis. Mantis? Yeah, there used to be a guy by that name in the US military, a Russian psychic. He could control people's minds. I guess she inherited the title. She keeps the other B&B's minds in check with her powers. Octopus, Raven. Wolf, Mantis, you got it. They're the snake hound unit, and they've got you in their sights. Snake hound. <laughs> Shit, I'd hate to be in your shoes. Drebin. I thought no one was supposed to be able to hack into the system. Are you with the Patriots? No, sir. I ain't no lale lule. <laughs> I mean, I'm no patriot. You can say patriot. I guess that means you're clean, right? The nano machines I got in me are different from the military kind. No speech restrictions for me. What the hell are these patriots? Huh? Are they human? Not anymore, they ain't. They're the law of this world, created over the course of history. They're what holds this world together, keeps this whole mess in check. We are formal. We are the very discipline and law that Americans invoke so often. The Patriots are America, the world's greatest military power. They are the war economy, which makes you and me just cogs in a much grander schematic. I mean, Someone obviously had to start the whole thing at the beginning, but now their law has taken on a life of its own. A life of its own? Yep. The country, the war economy, it ain't run by people. It's run by the system. No need for high-level decision-making authority. It's all handled by a massive, Yet simple information processing system. An AI. Hmm. It works just like natural law. The world's a much simpler place than most folks realize. Every aspect of the Patriot system is closely monitored by three peripheral AIs and a core AI that ties them all together. <sighs> the SOP system is one part of that. It's all backed up by a foolproof control system. So not even yours truly can sneak inside the Patriots' AIs. 
What if, hypothetically, someone found a way? If they could fool the IDS. I guess they could use it as a haven to lay low. Haven? You know, like a tax haven. In the internet society, we have net havens, data havens. A haven is some place where social conventions and the rules of the net don't apply. Back in the 20th century, the super rich would open bank accounts in countries without income tax laws. Not a bad way to evade paying taxes. Now we've got us a society where everybody's DNA and personal info is totally controlled by the nanomachines inside their bodies. Won't be long before people start using havens to escape from ID control. I guess you could say my gun laundering kind of borrows from the haven concept, after a fashion. Even so, good luck finding a way to access the Patriots' AIs from the outside. It's absolutely impossible. No chance in hell. Like I said, there's no breaking into those AIs from the outside. But Liquid's got something in mind. You sure there's no way? <laughs> I'm just a gun launderer. Only reason I'm interested in you is because you start a lot of fires. All right, then. You need me? Just give me a ring. Go <laughs> 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 uh, uh, uh. on. Get your ass back inside. Now! Good talk. Couldn't give me a ride to the base. <sighs> uh, because Metal Gear. <laughs> because Metal Gear. Oh my god. Alright. That'll do it for tonight. That'll do it for tonight. Oh man. What a game. What a game. This Metal Gear Solid 4. Oh boy. <laughs> yep. Oh man. What a crazy game. Alright.